The Gabriel Ash upright coal frame is an ideal standalone mini greenhouse and here are my top tips for using it through the winter months January through to March. Clear any snowfall off the coal frame to ensure maximum light into the structure. If you haven't already done so, now is a good time to clean the glass in your coal frame ready for the new season. If prolonged cold weather is forecast and you have tender plants inside the coal frame, you can add extra protection by fitting bubble insulation to the inside of the structure. Please note, only use stainless steel fixings to fix anything to the cedar framework. The long cold winter months are an excellent time to sit down with a cup of tea and browse through some seed and plant catalogues. Make a detailed plan of what you want to grow in the new season and order any seeds or plug plants that you require. Any overwintering plants you have in the coal frame should be watered very sparsely, taking care not to get water on the leaves or splash it about in the coal frame. It's always good to get a first crop started and first early potatoes can be started in bags in the greenhouse or coal frame by planting them late February or early March. And here's how you do it. First, chip your potatoes for a few weeks before planting. This is a technique which encourages your seed potatoes to produce strong, healthy shoots. January and February are the best times to chip potatoes. Place the seed potatoes in an egg box with the rows end up. This is the end with the most eyes. Leave them in a cool, frost-free windowsill. When the sprouts are about two centimetres long, they are ready for planting. To grow potatoes in your greenhouse or coal frame, you need a good container. These are proper dedicated potato sacks that I'm going to use here. They've got a pocket at the front where you can harvest your potatoes from. Um, they're a good size. You can get plenty of potatoes in there. Uh, the key to it is, is to have good drainage holes in the bottom. Any container that you're going to use plastic pot, make sure it's got some drainage holes in. Now here I'm using a very good quality compost. Potatoes need it, they're very, uh, they need a lot of nutrients. And I'm going to fill this sack and I'm going to fill it about six inches deep. Just make sure there's no lumps or anything like that in the sack. Now just let that settle. That's about six inches deep. So I've just got to lay it down to there and now we'll go and get the potatoes, pop those in and then cover the top. So I've got my chitter potatoes here uh, with the nice stalks on and I'm going to try and get about five in here, giving them about a five inch spacing between each one. So there's two, I'll put one of the bigger ones in the middle, three, four, Five. So there's five in there, nicely and equally spaced. Covering that over about three inches deep, so they've got a good covering. And then the final job, just going to give them the watering. Not too much, and notice I'm doing it outside the coal frame, so that we're not getting too much water splashed around within the, within the coal frame itself. Now I shall put those in here. Now as you can see, I've got a nice gravel area inside the coal frame, so those will drain away quite nicely so they won't be standing in cold and wet water. If you haven't got that and you've just got a solid base, I recommend you get a tray, get some gravel and just stand any sacks or pots on some gravel just so that you've got some free drainage there. So the aim is as the shoots come through, we just keep topping up the compost, keep covering over the green shoots until eventually we get to about an inch from the top and then what we do is we then let them grow, let them flower and then we know that they're ready for harvesting. So we'll keep an eye on those, we'll, uh, we'll return to those in the next video and uh, we'll also be starting off some seeds in the cold frame as well.